pull up in your school bus, you'll be waiting right here in the CDL waiting area. The examiner will wave you over and you will pull your bus over. Of course, you'll be watching for oncoming traffic here. And be careful of any cones that they have set up that you don't hit. I'm gonna show you the 100 foot back in first, but take a look. They can have you pull into any lane. We're gonna go, suppose they directed us to pull into this lane. So you will pull your bus straight down here. It will be two cones at the end of the line there, two yellow lines. Make sure you put the nose of your bus right before them cones do not pass them. And come to a complete stop, secure your bus. The examiner will get on and instruct you what to do next. You need to do the 100 foot back. 100 foot back and it's right where you started from there. And you're gonna go straight back here. All the way back to the end, 100 feet. And the two cones will be right there where the white line is. The other one will be across there. You will get your bus behind them two cones. Secure your bus and blow your horn. That will be your first skill. Of course, all this happens after the pre-trip. Then you will have to do the offset backing. It will have you pull back up where you started. You can do offset backing left or offset backing right. Offset backing right, of course, you will offset back to the right. Offset backing left, you will offset backing left. We're gonna walk back again and show you which way you're gonna go when you do the offset backing. If you offset back and right, you will come from here over to here. The two cones will be there. You put your bus behind the two cones secure your bus and blow the horn. Same thing with offset backing left. You will come from there, offset back into this area. Two cones will be there. You will secure your bus and blow the horn. Easy, right? Now next, of course, we got the parallel parking or the alley dock. I'm gonna show you all three. They're only gonna pick one for you to do. Usually with the school bus, lately they've been picking parallel parking so parallel parking the first cone you'll be looking for that cone I tell you guys to dance with during training it will be right there of course the other cone will be across this is the space you'll be given it's 12 and a half feet wide it's way longer than your school bus you got plenty of space so you'll start from here up here near this line he'll give you your starting point and you will back into this area here for your parallel parking sight side. This is what they usually give to school bus drivers because the school bus shortage, they really trying to help you guys get through this. So this is one of the easiest things you can do with the skill. Uh, you will park into there. It's a lot of space. You can simply just back your bus in do what you have to do to get your bus in don't go over any boundaries you got the guardrail there so your defense is going to be on subconsciously rather you know it or not so this will be the back line there will be cones here you will not be able to go over this line or you will fail you can also use this line as a reference point in your mirror if your bus doesn't have the backup camera i showed you in a couple earlier videos about the reference point check that out if you don't understand, inbox me, comment below, I'll let you know. So the cones will be here in the back, you don't go over. That's your boundary, plenty of space guys, it can be done. Now if you need to do parallel parking on the blind side, it will take you over here. It's the same concept as parallel parking on the site side. You start up from here, your starting point and again that first cone will be here and there the cone you need to dance will be there put your wheel touching the ground beside that cone 
Same thing on the other side. And you back into this space here. And when you back into this space, it's the same thing as the other side. It's pretty wide, big enough for a school bus. Plenty of space, 12 and a half feet wide. You got plenty of space. The boundary line will be here. You would do the same thing I said on the other side. Two cones here, you can use that line as your reference point if needed, if your bus doesn't have a backup camera. So you guys see how pretty wide this is. Okay, now the alley dock is over there. The starting point for the alley dock is actually the box of the parallel parking on the blind side. So if you was to perform the alley dock, you would simply start in here in this box here. This will be your starting point. And you want to do a 90 degree alley dock. So you're going to go straight back straight back the goal is to get over there so 10 to 12 feet before that goal which I'm about to show you which you can use that dotted line as the goal 10 to 12 feet from there when your back bumper is 10 to 12 feet from there so right about here right about here guys 10 to 12 feet from the goal which is there you bump her 10 to 12 feet from the goal, then you can start cutting it hard left. Turn your bus into the into the goal. At this point, your bus will be getting into the goal. And you will have the cones here. There will be a cone there and a cone there. You want to make sure you're bus in between both of the cones. And the school bus usually, they use this as the boundary. So there will be a cone there and a cone there. So you can use the first line as your reference point in your mirror if your bus does not have a backup camera. I showed in the earlier video. Use that as your reference point. Make sure your bumper is in the rectangle and blow, secure your bus and blow the horn. Now if they use, if they make it a little longer, usually this is for the tractor trailer, but if any case, if they have you come back here, you do the same thing. You do the same thing there. This is the alley dock. They're all 12 and a half feet wide. There's plenty of space for the school bus.